Hey, good morning to you. Jesus is Lord. Yep, the word works. I've been talking to you about God being a good God. You go back and you study that God made a covenant with Abraham, and Abraham surely did mess up. You know, he lied about his wife and told old, uh, Abimelech, you can have my sister rather than being my wife. God's covenant was, Abraham, was with Abraham anyway. You know, David, King David, boy, he messed up. Um, you know, he just, he actually murdered a woman's husband in order to be able to get her. Bathsheba was her name. But yet David and Bathsheba became the father uh, of uh, the wisest man that's ever been, Solomon. So your mess ups is not nearly as big as God's blessings to bless you. Now, I want to get right in your face and say this. Your mess ups is not as big as God's covenant is of a blessing. See, God told Abraham, I will bless you and make your name great. And just because Abraham didn't do everything just right, didn't keep God from doing his part. Oh, glory to God. That, that, that blesses me just thinking about it. I remember a time, and I'll get onto this maybe in, in tomorrow, maybe the next day, that I had truly messed up. Man, I had let the word depart. I had gotten sick. My brain wasn't working right. And I made a terrible, terrible mistake, terrible mistake, and was incarcerated and facing a long time. Messed up, my problem. And the only thing that I could stand on and believe God for was the verse, I believe it's in the book of Acts, that says that God delivered unjust lot for Abraham's sake. And I, I went to that verse and said, Whoa, glory be to God. And I'm under a better covenant. And I believed God for deliverance, and I got delivered. God delivered me, not because I deserved it, but because he's a covenant-keeping God. And the same covenant that he made with Abraham still belongs to me. Well, let's get back to this story here about this adoptive father taking care of his son or doing things for his son. Listen, God is the adopted father. Jesus is my older brother. And I've told you this before. I've only got one sister. Uh, she's just a couple of years older than I am, three years to be exact. And when my mother and father passed, they didn't have much, but we sold the little house that we were raised in. And, and we divided equally um, you know, what was left over that they had that was in the will, that she got the exact same amount that I got with the exception of, I told her, uh, her and her husband to take a trip that always wanted to go to Hawaii and, and do that before we divided it. And then we got an equal share down to the penny because we both are in the family. Well, God said in his word, as he is, Jesus, as he is, so are you in this world. So God's not going to do for me what he won't do for you. And that's good news. I got some more good news on that. God's not going to do for you what he won't do for me. So if anybody's ever been healed, then I have a right to believe for healing. If anybody's ever had a financial miracle, then I have a right for a financial miracle because it's not based on me keeping the word. It's based on God keeping the word. Boy, that's strong and gas. I want to say that again. It's not based on me keeping the word. It's based on God keeping his word. And if at any time, that's what the Bible says. If at any time you'll repent, open your eyes, go back to the word, you can still have your miracle. Man, where does three minutes go when you get talking about the goodness of God? God is looking. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord are running to and fro throughout the whole earth. And he's looking for somebody to show himself strong in their behalf. Hey, be that somebody. Make a decision today. You've been adopted into the kingdom and you're going to receive your benefits in Jesus' name. I got to go. Remember today, it's not based on your performance. It's based on God's covenant and everything that he's going to do for you is based on his covenant. So go back to the word, find out what the covenant says and receive. I got to get out of here. Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.